What's good, everybody? I go by the name of Ayanda Kid Fresh Otandwalo, and welcome to the first episode of Archives, Spaces, and Places, proudly brought to you by Vans. This is where I'll be taking you through the dopest spots in the city. And today, we're chilling with DJ Speedster all the way in Marlboro at the Skate Hub and his skating community, just to see what him and his friends are actually up to today. Let's go! It's gonna take us just about 15 minutes to hit there. Haven't been to this place. I'm pretty amped to actually see this. I hope I actually get on a board today. I haven't seen DJ Speeds to skate live. Maybe he can teach me a couple of tricks or so. I have a feeling that today is gonna be a good day. Good brother. Easy, mate. You're That's nice. Handy. I'm good, man. Welcome to the skate hub. Yeah, yeah. This is the store. Uh, we recently. It's nice to be here, man. Cool. Been hearing about it. Yeah, dog. This Finally. is us. Uh, we just got a couple of boards. We got a whole bunch of local brands that we yeah. push out here. But they told me something about that. I heard you guys can actually customize boards, yeah. Yeah, I've done a couple of uh, DJ speeds the boards. Um, they're all sold out at the moment, but yeah, we could I need a skate hub board, bro. You need a skate hub board? I need a skate hub board. You skate? Let's start there. We'll talk about that after. We'll talk board. about that after. But hey, the reason yeah. I ask is because yeah. we also do lessons. Oh yeah? Yeah, so my, 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 my boy Josh, yeah. my homegirl with me, they handle the lessons. So if you don't know how to skate and you'd like to skate, uh, we can teach you how to skate. My skateboard journey started through a mutual friend. We had gone to a mall and we had seen a demo. There were guys skating, there were guys on rollerblades, and there were guys in BMXs like flying. And then when we got back home to the Val, there was a skate park. So I asked my dad to buy me a skateboard. I wanted to try it out and the rest is history. What inspired me to open the Skate Hub was just to kind of contribute to the skateboarding community. Skateboarding has always been about the hip hop culture, True. But, but we just haven't been active Tapped into it. in yeah. Johannesburg in, in, in the skateboarding culture. And, and it's purely because it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult thing because it's a niche market, it's a very expensive yeah. exercise, you know? Um, so. The, the, expensive like how so though like to keep these lights on is not easy you know and and also to convince brands that like your skateboarding is not just a thing it's, it's not it's, just kids you know it's, it's a really difficult yeah. exercise but um you have like your archives who support us um we've got a couple of other um stakeholders who also help us um keep the literally keep the lights on i'm not yeah i'm not out here trying to become a millionaire you know i'm really just trying to um, like you say, have a safe space for kids to come and skate. True, yeah. Um, especially with things like the Olympics coming up. I realized that there was a lack of skateboards in Johannesburg and a lot of talent, just not enough facilities. So I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to make a change. That's how the business came about. Um, I'm happy that um, kids can come into the space and fall and land something and try a trip for four hours until Fail, you finally get and, and you, win, you know what I mean. And, and be the first place that you actually landed at. Exactly. It's and, gonna be memorable. And also just for like parents to know that like, you know, I can drop my child off here and he's safe, safe. he's good. Yeah. This space is my life. Um, this is my everything. What I mean by that, it's not a thing of a phase. Um, it's not a one year or two year thing. This is my life. I will be 50 and we will be running um, the, the, the skate hub. Um, and it's, I, it's gonna be like that because I understand how important it is. Um, just from opening this place, I've seen the change. I've seen a lot more people on skateboards. I've seen um, a lot more smiles on kids' faces because they're able to be in the space. So it means a lot. It, like I said, it's my life, it's my world. Um, it's my everything. I don't even have the words for it, to tell you the real truth. I like to see this as a training facility yeah. um, for, 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 for guys to come and learn their tricks, um, practice their tricks in here and then take them to the streets. 
So spaces like these are so important for the youth because it's a safe space where kids can come and train and just kind of connect uh, with the artistic um, side. And it's just really, really great, uh, especially with skateboarding, you know, being in the Olympics and it being a structured sport. Um, it's important that we have spaces like, like this where we can really have these kids uh, train at a very high level. Spaces like this are pretty cool because it's it's a safe space, number one, and there's a lot more you can do without hassle. What does skateboarding mean to me? It means freedom and being able to express myself in a different way. So when it comes to the culture of skateboarding, it's really multifaceted. We've got all kind of aspects from fashion to the sport itself, to you know art and graffiti and music. And spaces like this really kind of bring all of those multifaceted uh, aspects of the culture into one place where it really creates a really, really kind of awesome kind of hotspot for expression and creativity. And uh, yeah, these spaces are so important for the culture of skateboarding is where the culture really kind of grows and becomes something really special. Skateboarding is about coming together. It's about, you know, learning new things, seeing new things. And it's also about like you finding you as a person, you know. Yeah, that's what skateboarding is about, like having fun and just being, being you. I think skate culture has always been something that's been frowned upon like very like uh, skater guys, you know, um, but it's a big chunk of culture when we talk about street culture, hip hop, basketball, music, can't not have skateboarding in there, you know, it's a big chunk of the culture and that's also one of the reasons why I felt like it was really, really important for me to, to, to build the space and, and, and contribute to the culture. I always say when I die and it's like, oh yeah, speech that was so good, it was cool, but I didn't leave any legacy. I didn't build things that, 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 that will live without me. You know, I, I don't want to be that guy. So um, I want to always contribute to the culture so that when I do leave, I leave a mark. Shout out my brother, Yander Fresh. Welcome to the Skate Hub. Well, thank you for coming to the Skate Hub. Pleasure. Really love what Speedster did to this store. Really enjoying the space. It allows us to actually live and connect with the culture. Something that you don't see a lot more often. But like, yo, until next time, next episode, I'm signing out. We out. Peace.